video again. I'm back again. Oh, well, that was a bit sinister. Didn't mean it to be sinister. So I am here to share with you my wisdom uh, regarding beauty essentials. Um, now this is not my makeup essentials and it's not what I take in my hand luggage essentials. This is purely just things that I have to take that I need that are kind of your basics. Uh, holy grail, cannot leave the country without them. Uh, so let's get started. Um, you have to excuse any cats that pop in. Uh, that's probably going to happen. Although I think they're getting bored of this now, so that's all right. So first up, uh, of course, is sunscreen. So this is going to be a lot of personal preference, but for me, I'm really pale. Um, I don't think it even shows how pale I am in any of these videos or photos. I could not be whiter, really. I'm almost blue. I'm that pale. So I burn really easily. Um, and even kind of sometimes the best sunscreen uh, isn't, isn't brilliant. It doesn't last very long for me. So uh, a couple of trips ago, I discovered, uh, can you see that? I discovered Ultra Sun. So this one is extreme. <laughs> this is uh, SPF 50 and this is one of those that's a once a day. And I was I was really skeptical when I bought this and they do actually recommend that you top it up if you're going to be out kind of all day. But I have found that to be unnecessary. You do need to check your kind of high traffic areas, so shoulders where you have a strap rubbing, that sort of thing. Um but I have I have never burned with this on. Um, I have used the Sport as well, two years ago I used the Sport which is um, a spray on one um, and I, I, that was perfectly nice as well. I will say with that one is that it's a spray bottle and it gets a bit slippy and also I turned the bathroom floor into an ice rink which was fun because it's a little bit greasy as well to um, so that it stands up to water better. I will probably get a bottle of that for water park days um, but just a word of warning on that one. You you might fall slip and crack your head if you're not careful. Um, so yes, that's my sunscreen. Um, they do do a face version. I found my skin just didn't get on with it. Um, and so my skin sunscreen is, uh, and I discovered this on my last trip. It just happened to be on offer. Um, it is the number seven protect and perfect uh intense advanced facial sun protection um so it's uva and uvb and it's a factor 50 and it actually it feels um a lot more like a normal moisturizer than a sunscreen so it's not heavy it's not greasy let me just reconfirm that it's been a while since i used this um yeah so it's not heavy it's not i don't know you have to excuse the fact that I've got some uh, Wonder Brow on there. Um, but you can see, you know, there's hardly any shine on that. It sinks right in. Um, it's really lovely. It's a lovely base for makeup. Um, yeah, and I just, I, I'm really pleased I found this. Because um, it's really good. And again, my face didn't burn at all with that. Um, my next essential, let's continue on with the face. Um, so I sometimes, and this happened on my first trip when my skin disagreed with the sunscreen, my cheeks just got kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. They weren't burnt, but they were really red and kind of a bit raw and a bit sore. Um, and I don't know if it was the combination of the sunscreen with my makeup, with the heat and all the rest of it, whatever happened, my skin was not enjoying life. So I ended up, I went out with a sample of this and liked so much I ended up buying it in Sephora while I was there and it is this Caudalie uh, Vino Source uh, Serum, uh, SOS Thirst Quenching Serum and it does exactly what it says on the tin. So this is what you would use after cleansing, after toning, you'd put on this serum before your moisturiser. And it literally it saved my skin on that trip within a few within a couple of days my skin was a-okay again we were back to being friends um and it's lovely and i just i just really love it it's, it's just a really nice thing in winter it's really good 
um, central heating and things like that are getting your skin a bit parched but yeah I have to take that on holiday with me um, and I'll use it in the evening quite often um, before I get back, go, go to bed. Um, and my other evening thing, because obviously during the day I'm using my sunscreen on my face, um, so in the evening I just want to give my skin a real a bit more of a treat um, and just really look after it when it's in the sun because <laughs> let's face it it's not used to it in this country is it especially not in May it's been a long cold winter of which we're about to hit another cold snap um, but this, this is actually this is one of my beauty finds of this year um, I don't know if you've all discovered Aldi uh, Aldi skincare it actually is amazing it's really good I got the so I'm waffling I'm sorry I'm waffling but I got the seven day treatment and I loved that so I picked up the moisturizers and I earl through love those so this one is the Lacura face care caviar um, and those in the know will know that this is a La Prairie dupe so they have a very similar um, skincare range that's infinitely more expensive. Um, so this is this is your budget version, uh, but it's really good. I really like it. Um, it feel it feels when you take it out of the jar, it feels really thick and heavy. But actually, um, because I'm naturally got oily skin, although it is controlled because I'm on the pill, but I'm still you know a little bit oily, and this doesn't turn my face into an oil slick or anything like that. It's just really lovely and nourishing, and a per actually really good. Uh, night cream especially on holiday it will sort your skin out a treat um and then my last kind of face item is running out i need to buy more but uh so we all know makeup has a tendency to slide off your face uh in florida because it's so humid or at least pretty much kind of most of the year it's really humid humid um so especially if you've got if you've got an oilier skin type um your makeup will slide quicker um so one of my kind of hero products and this is actually a kind of life in general hero product i really i recommend this to a lot of people and that is the urban decay um all nighter setting spray so you literally you just spritz it on your face um and it makes your it actually does a really good job of making your makeup stay uh, this is also available by, it's actually made by Scandinavia, if anyone's familiar with that brand. So if you can't find the Urban Decay, you can probably find the Scandinavia, which is basically just this without the Urban Decay branding. Um, so yeah, that's Scandinavia on the back there, so you can see if you want to look that up. And, uh, let's see, moving on. Nobody wants to be that guy in the queue who's a bit whiffy, because you're a gonna get very sweaty there's no way around that um and one of my things and I, I will do a kind of what's in my park bag later but one of the things I take is, is a little kind of mini deodorant but to the best I deodorant by far for you know first thing before I leave the hotel is Mitchum um so this one is like the the cream and this 48 hour protection but it's the kind of the cream application they do i think they do a gel but i'm pretty sure they do a gel and they do a roll-on for sure and they do sprays um this one's just my preference and it's it's amazing i cannot tell you how amazing this is um i mean don't get me wrong there's not much you can do about the actual wetness this is so gross the wetness of sweating but uh odor control like perfect could could not be better so uh make an investment in that um my other essential um especially when you've got a fringe situation happening uh is a dry shampoo so other brands are available i'm actually i'm going to try a different one um before i go uh just just because i like to try things um so yeah dry shampoo um so it can refresh if you don't want to wash your hair especially if like me you've got colored hair not necessarily the crazy colors but just generally and you don't want to overwash your hair this will see you through you know another day or an evening just refresh your hair so that you don't have to wash it again um yeah essential for the, the sweat and the grease 
and pretty gross but we all know that it happens um, and my final essential is and I think this speaks for itself it's your good old bug spray so along with being the whitest person in the world I am also one of the whitest people in the world I am also one of the tastiest people in the world to bugs uh, so I've been really lucky the last couple of trips. I've been really bad at remembering to put on my spray and I haven't been bitten, maybe like one or two bites. Um, but yeah, I do take this because it's Florida, it's swampland, it's a breeding ground for mozzies and you will get bitten, probably. Uh, the parks are really good now after the whole Zika thing. Um, certainly last time I was there they do have various spots usually outside of um, shops and things or in, um, I can't remember where else I've seen them but yeah they'll have a table and there'll be spray on there and you can just help yourself and spray yourself down with it um, but I always like to take it with me as well because of you know just before I head out of an evening um, to stop me getting munched on um, so yes that's it those are my I think those are all of my holiday essentials um if there's any others that you recommend do tell me in the comments below um i'd love to hear it i always love trying new products any excuse right um and thanks for watching see you next time